mind, dear friends. Your vote is precious, almost sacred. It is the most powerful non-violent tool we have to create a more perfect union. They had to pass a so-called literacy test, pay a poll tax. On one occasion, a man was asked to count the number of bubbles in a bar of soap. On another occasion, one was asked to count the jelly beans on a jar, all to keep them from casting their ballot. Today, it is unbelievable that there are Republican officials are trying to stop some people from voting. They are changing the rules, cutting polling hours and imposing a requirement intended to suppress the vote. The Republican leader in the Pennsylvania House even bragged that his state's new voter ID law is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state. That's not right, that's not fair, and that is not just. And similar efforts have been made in Texas, Ohio, Florida, Wisconsin, Arizona, Georgia, and South Carolina. I've seen this before. I lived this before. Too many people struggled, suffered, and died to make it possible for every American to exercise their right to vote. And we have come too far together to ever turn back. So Democrats, we must not be silent. We must stand up, speak up, and speak out. We must march to the polls like never, ever before. We must come together and exercise our sacred right.